Well, the people you see at the Geelong Cup, a man who has been associated with, uh, yes, he's on, used to be on the other side of the camera, Dean Bushel. Welcome. How are you, Dean? Good afternoon, Graham. Great to be here. And uh, shall we say, uh, sartorially elegant as always? Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's actually my day off, but still put the suit on. Collar and tie. Now, D D Dino, uh, Dean Bushel is the man's full nut. But Amy, we've amicably called him Teabag over the years. And uh, working on the other side of the camera, you uh, took out the uh, guest media uh, camera award for cameraman of the uh, year award on about four occasions, three years in a row. That's right. Yeah, I was very lucky enough to work for Fano, the guest video, guest video productions, um, well, about ten years ago now, and uh, really enjoyed the experience. Um, I think I was lucky enough to win uh, cameraman of the year about three years in a row. It's just a fantastic experience to uh, to follow local football. And um, yeah, still working in media today. So, do you miss it? I do. I do. Yeah, I wish I was behind the camera right now. <laughs> and now uh, you've also spent some time overseas in Japan. I have. Yeah, I spent four and a half years in Japan teaching English, um, which was a great experience as well. The challenge uh, of living in Japan with a completely different culture and and uh, language um, was one that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And Japanese, uh, one thing about uh, the Japanese, they love their horse racing over there as well as we do in Australia. Well, they do, and it's actually a bit different. I mean, here in Australia, we get dressed up in our suits and you know, we put a, the girls put a hat on, and it's all, all about fashion. Um, over there, it's more about the betting and, and that sort of it. So, uh, yeah, completely different sort of, uh, I guess, atmosphere when you go to the races in Japan, which is interesting to, to, uh, to see. And uh, you're enjoying your day here, uh, as you say, your day off at uh, the biggest party in Geelong that's being promoted as the Geelong Cup. I reckon it is, and I'm just proud, proud to be uh, born, raised in Geelong, and just a fantastic day for the city of Greater Geelong. A great day to catch the man in front of the camera, normally behind the camera in past years, Dean Bushell. Thanks for your time, Dino. Thanks, Graham. An early warm summer's day greeted the big crowd here at Geelong for the 2009 Balan Cup meeting. And in the opening event, the Prowler, despite racing wide early, proved too strong for his rivals in the straight for Barry Burke and Brian Higgins. Dropping off is cool. It's about two lengths away. Dropped out to last as they turned for home, where Prowler led about a length over Camilla Princess and Latin Bow. Dandy Man is next. Pretty Dan's on the improved wider. Then followed Miss Turk under pressure, Simon and Coolis into the home straight and Prowler just had the front but Camilla Princess the race favourite looms up on its outside, Prowler still about a neck in front with 200 to go, Camilla Princess hasn't got there yet, in fact I think Prowler's going the better and it is, it got away from Camilla Princess who can find no more, Latin both through on the inside into a place but Prowler it's been a pretty handy win. He was working all of the way and Prowler raced on to win two and a half lengths to Camilla Princess Latin Bow and Miss Turkey. Leading trader Leon Corsons and Linda Mooch combined to take out the second maiden plate when the little ones rocketed away on the home straight to score easily. Awaiting a run third, the little one comes three deep. Kathy's Joyce next. Next with Power of Eight, Inner Beauty, Becca Girl, and then Leferve, Drums of War, and United Hawk into the straight. Perugian Spell led Mr. Nero. On the outside, the little one's running on. Shab T's now got room to get through if he's good enough. At the 200, the little one took a narrow lead from Perugian Spell. Shab T within a better length. The little one had the front from Perugian Spell and Shab T. The little one in front, she finds plenty, and the little one won it by a length and a quarter to Shab T. Perugian Spell third, Power of Eight fourth. And then came Drums of War. Top country jockey Craig Robertson landed a winning double here at Geelong when Dol Delago was too strong for his rivals in the Black Mountain Handicap. Three quarters to Tube. Redwood Park, who awaits a run. Fudishon, Miss Charmaine to the outside with Harvard Bells, then Dol Delago into the straight. Marishop put under pressure as Tube drew up alongside. Fudishon, Redwood Park in behind them. Miss Charmaine running on. Uh, Tube took the front from Marishot, 100 to go. Here's Dol Delago getting out and running home well. Tube in front. Dol Delago challenging late. Dol Delago got there right on the line. Dol Delago, a short half hit to Tube. Marishot third, Miss Charmaine fourth. Then Redwood Park, followed in by Fudishon. And the big one of the day, the 2009 Balan Cup, was a triumph for leading female jockey Linda Meach, who completed a winning double when she landed the big one with orchestra stalls. Line is ready. Signals through and off they go. Sir Scalahad was noticeably slow to get going. Packing hero Hells Lane 
and Mr Paparazzi all left well. Great steps, not too far away with Sweet Talking Guy. Orchestra stalls, and then on his outside is He's a Perler, a couple to Sir Scalahad back with Prince Vitality. So at the 1200 metre mark, up front it's Hells Lane, off the fence, about a neck to a half length clear of Mr. Paparazzi, who is restraining and allowing Hells Lane to take up the lead more clearly. Two lengths to Packing Hero, third, Great Steps is fourth. Three lengths to Orchestra Stalls and Sweet Talking Guy. Sir Scalahad and He's a Perler. And two to two and a half to Prince Vitality. Off the back, 800 to go. Hells Lane led by just over a length to Mr Paparazzi. Two lengths to Great Steps third. Packing Hero fourth. Sir Scalahad getting thrown the inside into fifth ahead of Orchestra Stalls. Sweet Talking Guy's off the bit, seemingly struggling at the moment with He's a Perler and Prince vitality as they travel up to the home turn. 400 out. Hells Lane skipped away a little here. Put up about two and a half lengths on Mr. Paparazzi. Packing hero. Great steps the inside. Orchestra stalls out wider from Sir Scalahad. Hells Lane in front. 250 out. Two lengths clear. Mr. Paparazzi. Packing hero. Orchestra stalls. Sir Scalahad. Great steps are all trying hard. Hells Lane starting to tie now. Packing hero. Orchestra stalls. Grab him. Orchestra stalls. Stalls out wide, took the front, drew away. Orchestra stalls, one at a half length to Packing Hero. Great steps third, photo fourth. And there you have it, it's been Ladies Day here at Geelong for the 2009 Balan Jockey Club Cup. We look forward to seeing you all out here on Sunday, November 15, for another Ladies Day, the Thirsty Camel Race Day.